Hello, welcome to version 007. We got these brand new roll plates. They are like the evolution of the bounce uh, note plates. These uh, are more physics y and uh, they accept rolling stuff instead of just bounces. And also, they will modulate the velocity of the MIDI note or the note they play. The loudness will vary based on the physics, like how fast this thing hits. So it'll be lower when it rotates. And we can tune this. You see the debug uh, stuff here? You can tune all this. So we could stop this and we could say that this one should be more sensitive. So we go down here. We got the custom physics response. We could turn this off and it'll auto it'll like find out what was the historical hits like if he sends several hits it'll just find the maximum force registered and just make a scale from that but uh, right now we can do it custom so we can say that the physical velocity will go from 5 to let's say 800 and the output velocity in midi will be let's say 20 to 127 which is the max um, and now we can and this will be stronger you see the velocity here the maximum was 785 that's there 838 so that's the max one and it rolls at around it seems about 200 and like we can do stuff like this if we need to change up or anything let's see so it's rolling here is 133 in physics terms here so the output is about 30 in note velocity we can tune all this of course also these uh, plates here are sending um, Sending out uh, MIDI notes to uh, any actor with a note interface. So that's these synthesizers here. They now have the note interface. So we can just send to them very like, to any variation of this, like agnostically. We just choose an actor with, uh, with uh, and if it has the, like any actor, and if it has the, the, um, the note interface, then we'll, uh, we'll be good. It'll, it'll work. We can check out the uh, interface um, in the synths. No interface for rails. Okay, I'm confused already. I have no clue how this even works. Like, how do we even send notes anymore? This is so confusing. Note play, note interface. What? Okay. Note interface. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm the most confused person here. But who knows? Isn't this? What? This looks like not in use or something. This is really the most confused I've been in a long time. Is this like a custom event I made? No, it's from the note interface. It should be like here. I'm so... It is there! Note interface. It's so close to no interface. Oh my god. Okay, I should delete this and start over this whole video but uh, maybe this panic can serve as a learning experience <laughs> note interface okay here it is yes so this looks like this this is how we implement it in the synthesizer it just bang shouts out this it sends the notes straight to the synthesizer that is uh, running here um, so the role plate is calling this uh, 
actor with a node interface. So here there's actually no <laughs> interfaces. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so it does work like this. And we can implement this uh, synth, uh, this uh, interface on any actor. So it could do something else and play nodes, or it could be a diff very different kind of thing with a synthesizer, whatever you do uh, want. So uh, this works. Um, you can just place them, or I have like a we call like a generator here. So if we take uh, here, we just use a roll plate factory to spawn like a billion uh, plates. It's the same as these roll plates. It's the pressure sensitive stuff. It's just a way to build them without having to manually place them. So I can just say 24. 32, 12, 5 plates with a spacing of 200 and we can also change the scale, you know, but uh, right now we don't want to do that. We can just do like this and we can try play. Something happened. What? Oh god. Some physics stuff. Now I really should delete this video, but I still think this is like valuable. Like I will ignore those er errors because I don't think they are like real. I don't believe them for one second. Or maybe I do. I'm really struggling here for some reason. They're trying to do stuff to a ball that they spawned, but maybe it didn't spawn or something. Who knows? Maybe it's because it's inside the wall. I don't know. That actually could be it. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, we solved the bug. So if this is inside the wall, since we don't do any checks, we're not checking for like if it's actually a room for this thing we spawned inside this cannon. And since there wasn't, it, it freaked out. So uh, in a real setting, we would want to like ensure that it would either would never go into a wall or if it was in a wall it would not fire like that. So we learned something. So these plates are pretty powerful. You can use them for music or fun stuff or just gameplay. Uh, they are not finished yet but they are pretty powerful. Much more powerful than the old ones and note plates. Because those just we had to set the velocity and note and they just took bounces and that was it. No physics, uh, no, no nothing fun, nothing dynamic. And these are actually really tricky. Uh, other than that, it's uh, again reorganized. It's uh, back to like um, <laughs> all the maps in uh, in one folder, just smashed out there. It's. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's easier or worse to uh, to actually navigate for you all, but we'll see. Let me know. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's nice. I think... I think I fixed time synth yeah it was a bit broken might still be for some um, what plates we got source effects there's more source effects I think yeah wave shaper bit pressure let's mess with the phaser Bypass it entirely. We got the stereo delay, I think we're using it now. 
yeah, if you bypass it, it's very simple. With the stereo delay, it's this uh, reverberate kind of effect. If you turn that. I get a different kind of... Yeah, so you can do a lot of cool stuff. There's uh, the volume. So yeah, we got a few more. do some cool stuff. So this is fun for you guys to mess with, you people. Girls and boys can actually make something crazy with this. Um, there's probably some new levels, like the North Runner alternative version, etc. I think this version has random synth presets, maybe, for every drop. I could be wrong, but it could be. You could set it to be random every time. I don't think this is random. I can see the notes. But it totally could be. The granular hinges uh, the, um, are a bit funky now. I will fix them in the next version. Uh, they are like the, they are working, but they don't sound as good as they once did, I think. And or maybe uh, my standards have uh, risen. Uh, but right now, they are like a bit uh, low volume compared to the door knocks, and it sounds a bit robotic compared to. And a bit thin. So I think we can uh, fix this again easily to make them really, really good again. But for now, they are working. Um, just uh, not, I uh, not perfectly. These are the old bounce plates. You see, it's just note. Um, not even uh, I think like noticing uh, it, it is some hit impulse strength but it's like hard-coded hit impulse in the physics so it's very lazy and bad and not dynamic uh, the new one is more you have more we have more control here and also it can be better in like it'll predict this if we want instead so uh, based on what's happened before so it's getting better otherwise I think Think. Yeah, random bases. I think this is most stuff. There is uh, a lot, like everything is slightly changed. You know, it's uh, the layout is different. Like how this is where the organization is so different. But I think. Uh, I think you'll make the best of it. So, I'll uh, see you next time.